My name is Sjernot de Jong. I'm the new dean of the Faculty of Science of Radboud University. And I'm going on a tour uh, through all our research and education facilities. And first, we will see the greenhouses. And for that, I invited Sarian. Yeah, so here we are in the, in the greenhouse where we have different experiments uh, running. So we're now working towards our experiment with uh, Azola, which is a water fern. It's a very fast growing plant that has a symbiosis with uh, nitrogen fixing uh, cyanobacteria. It can grow very fast and take up a lot of phosphate. And the idea that is that we want to use this plant to mine phosphate from former agricultural fields so we can use the phosphate again and also make the agricultural field ready for nature development. So this is the plant. You can see it's really a, a fern-like plant. It grows very fast. Uh, and we, of course, want to use this as a kind of a, a, a green way to recover phosphate. Um, what happens though, if you inundate um, organic rich soil, you may have a lot of methane formation. And that is something uh, that we don't want because it's a powerful greenhouse gas. So we're also looking into ways, we're quantifying how much methane is coming out. And we're looking into ways of minimizing this, for instance, by re repeated harvesting. And this is also by choice of the, the specific plant? Yes, because this plant grows very fast and as I said, it has a, a symbiosis with a, a nitrogen uh, fixer, so it's, it's not depending on a lot of extra uh, nitrogen. And it has a lot of protein, so it has a lot of utilization potential. There are even people made hamburgers or hamburgers. Uh, human food out of it. I recently got a VD proposal uh, funded and two PhD students are starting uh, the 1st of February. And here we're gonna look at uh, how bioturbators, so you could think of fish, but also small microinvertebrates that bring oxygen in the sediment, uh, how they uh, may mitigate methane uh, emissions. Mm -hmm.